Hello Aquarius and welcome to your reading. So I shuffled the cards and laid down the first layer and what Spirit wanted to talk to you about. The first card that I have is the Four of Cups. That is a tricky energy because this is when we only rely on what we've experienced until now emotionally and we don't see how things could be better you know like if you're invited to a party you're probably thinking ah uh, yes yeah, so and so is gonna be there and this is what's gonna be like the evening and pff, don't really feel like it I don't think I'm gonna get more than what usually these evenings are and of course you can apply that to every aspect of your life that's the four of cups but the universe or the divine that always wants to give us more on a higher level, richer, purer, more profound, is trying to give you an ace of cup, but you don't see it. So during the month here, here I have the seven of cups and the moon. And these two go very well hand in hand. The seven of cups is Venus in Scorpio. So Venus that is dragged in the bottom of the sea of Scorpio. How Scorpio can go so deeply into the wounds. And Venus by putting her energy there. All the times that lacks of love, betrayals of love, wounds of love happen and that are hidden in your moon are going to come up this month so you can see it uh, and that's that's why here it's not options these are projections there's a cloud in front of that guy with a bunch of cups so this is when we react in in a certain way based on the projections of our old wounds that are hidden deep in the waters in the moon card you also have the lobster coming out from the depth of the water so there is this thing happening to you this month Aquarius where you will feel these old wounds coming up and if this is all you see and all there is uh, you're gonna face it this month but it is for you to be able to readjust it for you to be able to heal that once and for all, okay? Um, we see more here what's happening. Because at the end of the month, here you are in the Nine of Cups and the Pope. This is, the Pope is applied spirituality, applied spiritual intelligence and integrity in our lives, opening the doors uh, acting accordingly it's supposed to be integrity and in all these things uh, that's why in the ideal world it is government and religion nine of uh, cups this is when we are feeling and being emotionally content all our emotions have been processed over his head in on a shelf not in front of him blocking his view in what is real and projecting things you know if somebody um, is absent uh, then you feel maybe they're abandoning you or rejecting you or you know whatever all those depending on the wounds you had you know under our four of cups where because the or the four of every four are energies that can be very well anchored and very hard to uh, bunch from, you know, because it took that first stability of the four. Uh, under that we have the hangman and the seven of pentacle. So this is the divine telling you, look at this from a completely different angle so that you can get the illumination there. Look at what do you really get out of your experience of life as a human on this planet? 
the garden here doesn't give any fruit. There was effort made, there's still more effort to come, but you don't see fruits. The, the, you know, one of the reasons that makes life worth living, it is the fruit that we're eating while we're living this life. You know, if it would be just work and waiting for, you know, the fruits of life in paradise after we, uh, we pass away, no. So here, this is telling me that look from a different angle in the areas of your life where you don't have any fruits, whether it is financially, emotionally, or, or whatever. And here I think emotionally. Uh, look at that from a different angle. Because here, when the old emotions will come up and block your view this month, like really sending you into the unconscious galore here. It's going to be his doing with your Queen of Cups. Very emotional. Uh, and your Queen of Cups is the one that allows what vibration of emotions come in. If, if uh, the Divine wants to give you an Ace of Cups, it's your Queen of Cups that's going to allow it in or not. But here the Devil is here. And this, of course, Capricorn, ruled, it's ruled by Saturn. And we have a full moon eclipse in Saturn on the 4th of July, 5th of July, if you are in Europe or something like that. That's why I'm telling you this could happen right at the beginning of the month. And through the month, you're going to see yourself going here of what you allow to experiment emotionally in your life. Here I have justice after that. There's something that needs to happen so that balance comes back into your life, so that those deep wounds can be healed, can be really put to rest. Uh, the quest of the moon, the moon is a quest here in the shadow, in the valley of shadow where I will not see anything. And uh, let's face it, on that card, it is an eclipse. The sun is behind the moon. And that's why we need to walk that path with all of our, either one day, uh, one side theme, uh, you know, tamed instinct and the other side untamed instinct instincts that sees all of the wounds and that will react to them like if you see yourself launching on to people like well you uh, you know like projecting your wounds and perceiving your wounds on the actions of people that from another point of view were purely innocent but there you they, these will become more intense that's what i'm warning you about but this is to show you of course, it's out of love. It's to show you something about yourself that you are not maybe allowing more into your life. Justice here is that you're going to understand something and you're going to bring balance. It's the end of a cycle. Ten of Wands under that end of a cycle where nothing was really happening. Uh, been there done that no where's the love where's the fruit where's the grace and the serenity end of that cycle because it's going to be through the interactions tree of wands a uh, tree of pentacle interactions of uh, the people you work with that when you try and build something all of that that this is going to be shown to you and it's going to feel dark for a little while. I'm sorry to say, but you have to be warned that this is for you to finally let an Ace of Cup come into your life and so that you can be in your power of manifestation. It's just to show you. Uh, and then after that, <laughs> serendipity, things are going to go much faster. It's just to sh you're going to realize how you yourself are the master of the vibration of your emotions, of allowing more or less in. 
you either believe that your reality is what you've experienced until now and there's nothing more out there or you believe that there is more out there and I'm going to allow it in. That is the switch that is going to happen. And the eclipse, I think, is going to be very significant for you. So, um, remember that. If you're feeling this old wounds coming up, remember that. Okay, let's clarify this. I call upon the divine. I call upon the light. I call upon the Holy Spirit for Aquarius for the month of July. It's going to be on different levels for all of you. You don't have to be so... Because this can be hard to live here. But it, it you know, it could be lightly for some of you. Just, you know, there the few leftovers. Or you can see it clearly. It depends of where you are on your path. You know? How many wounds you have. Not everybody's the same. But it's to bring you to emotional satisfaction. Okay, let's look at your Four of Cups. Uh, page of cup you see that cup here and six of cup there's a lot of heart chakra working this month I think and I think Saturn here with the eclipse in Capricorn uh, and so many planets uh, the way they are there's the realization of this power we have on what we allow into our life here the page of cup grabs the cup here don't grab it here grabs it because six of cup because of that inner understanding opening of the heart chakra where I'm gonna allow people to love me to give to me and I am going to give freely also I am opening my heart and I mean uh, we are in the age of Aquarius and like right now it's all a question of opening our hearts you know to allow ourselves to be loved no matter what and these are old wounds that need to be uh, put to the light uh, and healed justice has to come so you're going to live it. What is happening, let's say, uh, on a more of a social platform, you're going to live it at your level in your life. Okay? Like it's going to get maybe ugly before it gets beautiful. And it's a question of opening the heart chakra. Okay, seven of cups and the moon spirit. Seven of Cups and the Moon. Ah, we have the Magician and the Knight of Cups. Yes, the old wounded warrior and all of that. Okay, so the Knight of Cups. The Knight of Cups, instead of, uh, does somebody love me? Uh, am, am I uh, completely rejected? I'll be betrayed and hurt emotionally. I've been in the past as this was in front of me. Walking in that path of uh, that little you know, road here that you have to go and cross the two pillars. Here with the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Cups says, he, first of all, he grabbed that cup here. I am grabbing it here from a place of this. And this is something you're realizing. So maybe uh, you've already realized that and you're going to apply this. But this is where, like, how it is transforming. So I'm grabbing the cup that I couldn't see before. And now I am walking with it. And that is not who wants my cup of love, who loves me. It is I am love. Where am I going to pour my heart? 
completely different. And that is what is going to put you in your power. I am loved. And I am love. Nine of cups and the Pope. Yeah. This is something you understand. Like having that understanding. Like, whew, I get it. Now I can apply it. And I can transform death. And death is the card that comes after the moon. Not in the numbers. And here I have the, the Queen of Wands on top of it. Um, but if you look at death. In the back here, you have two pillars and the sun, like the dawn rising. The dawn rising after crossing those same two pillars and finally seeing the sun that is behind the night. You are going to tr let these old wounds die. Allow love in. You see the movement that is going to happen and then apply this into your life. That is going to be the processing of old wounds. Hangman and the Seven of Cups. Uh, seven of Pentacles, sorry. Seven of Cups is there. You get it so it's not during the month you're gonna get it you're getting it at the beginning of the month and that's why maybe timidly to begin with you're gonna grab that cup you're getting it you're getting that that's why I don't have any fruits in my life that's gonna put an end to maybe inner conflict outer conflict um, so that you can be put on your path of moving forward let's look at that devil and the Queen of Cups. Because the Devil and the Queen of Cups together, my God, he fills that cup with bad, murky waters. And that's how you're feeling. Feeling all the time the wounds and the shadows. And telling you this is all you're going to get. This is all there is. Ah. Six of sword, because of that understanding, you are able to move yourself to calmer waters, not a bunch of waters filled with whatever. No, <sighs> calmer waters away from conflict, away from all that that was happening, because you're understanding something justice can come in. Show me justice. Ah, justice over the seven of sword. Man, how you could have gotten so screwed in the past. But also, how you lose your power. And I think for you, the ones that resonate with this, of course. For you, how you lost your power was how your old wounds were able to come and block your view. And make your perception of what is in front of you like that. If I was abandoned or, or if... Somebody did not see my value. That's what I see out there. All those wounds are there. If I was betrayed, that's what I see. All the possibilities of betrayal there. I can hurt myself a lot. This is the end of it. And so where are the fruits in that sense? When my water is murky and my water is filled with pains of old wounds. This is with what I water my efforts of, of what is going to grow in my life. It's very hard to grow beautiful fruits when I water with this. You're finally going to let that die, heal from it. And therefore regaining your power. Through that clarity of mind. 
it's a readjustment of a karma and what is a karma well you know it's uh, a belief that we have or in this case your karma was all these old wounds that you got could could have come with from your childhood whatever but by that being your perception kept giving you the same results of not having any fruits in life not having maybe any success any uh, just bringing you more uh, hurt and pain so by doing this this will change the whole process of it end of that cycle ten of wands and you were probably at a point where my god where am I going from that from here you know ten of wands there is you Aquarius with the seven of wands and here the ten of wands again so going from a place where maybe that last cycle was a cycle where you always had to defend yourself swim against the current and having no gas in your car you know now you are, by understanding this this will realign you with your star Three of Pentacles. Aligning you for you to be able to re start receiving. A lot of signs are going through that. That kind of unblocking the receiving uh, particle there inside of us. There. Whoop, ah. King of Cups. Five of Pentacles yeah if the the people around us you know if we felt like that when it came to teamwork uh, family relationships if we felt left out in the cold not n not nourished not i'm sacrificing I'm, I'm working i'm doing things i have to swim against the current and all of that this was all the doing of this little karmic lesson that was trying to show you something show you that you need to allow more water into your life and here that's what the king of cups it's that emotional intelligence of I get it I understand and I will act accordingly that's why here with your magician you have overflowing water coming in that you deserve justice Ooh, king of pentacle and it is going to affect also here's the ten of uh, wands it's really the end of a cycle this is going to affect also your capacity yes how you are emotionally out there but also financially the fruits the king of pentacle has no problem generating fruits in life he's even epicurean ruled by Venus the pleasure of life and love and support and abundance why did I not get any abundance ah, I get it I am getting out of that shadow I'm letting it die and now I'm going to start to receive or generate for myself all right so Aquarius this is beautiful but that tells me that you probably went a bit through hell before this eclipse this was you know because that's what Saturn does if, if there's a wound somewhere he's, he's just gonna go and put its finger on it and twirl in it until you notice it and you decide to do something about it <laughs> it's a very loving but yeah if, if the human has this beautiful tendency of endurance and if it doesn't become unbearable he can stay the same way forever so there we go on this my beautiful Aquarius I'm gonna send you all my love and light and thank you for uh, commenting watching thumbs up subscribing and all that is around the world of YouTube 
um, thank you um, uh, for uh, if you want private readings description is uh, below you, you write to uh, that address there and I'm gonna give you the information um, thank you for the ones of you that gave donation uh, it helps more than you think and on the new moon and the full moon I do a little ceremony to give you back and the next one is on the 4th of July where I think the big key moment will happen for you um, because it's going to be the eclipse in Capricorn so uh, on that my heart to all of you that are still dealing with everything out there uh, virus justice um, just plain bringing down consciousness love light healing of old wounds I'm sending my heart out there for that and I'll see you next month. All right. <laughs>